What is up guys? Chewy Slayer is back here today guys and today guys we're finally able to do it guys. We're finally able to double evolve our Minotaur. I have been drowning myself over trying to grind out the uh, the shards needed to actually double evolve Minotaur for a long while now and Thank goodness I was able to actually get a free Minotaur card because it would have probably been even longer to get the required resources to get this son of a gun up. We actually got him to 193 for the amount of shards I needed to actually grind this out by doing HBM. And man, it's been a long time coming, but we're going to finally be double evolving him today. But before I do that, guys, we're going to take a moment just to write down his stats real fast. Because whenever I double evolve a hero, I like to see their stats before and after. And I would like to see how much better he gets as we level him up. So we're going to go and take my hand and dand and notepad and we're going to write down his stats. Now, as far as I know, I don't believe uh, the attack speed or the movement speed should change very much. Uh, we're going to mainly be focusing on the overall attack as well as the overall HP pool. This, this health pool should be going up crazy. Every time I've double evolved a hero in uh, Castle Clash, it just goes up so much. It is crazy. Uh, wow. I wrote, I wrote HP with a... With a, what do you call that, a bracket? Instead of uh, with a P, because I'm terrible. Just give me a moment. But in case the movement speed does change a bit, I don't believe the attack speed will change. But i just like to write this all down and make sure I cover my bases. No, the attack speed shouldn't change. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But we have that ran on the side so we can see how long it takes for once we double evolve our Minotaur, it's going to take for him to pass those stats. I just love seeing the before and after. So we already got one card for him as well as the 40,000 shards. <laughs> God, I can't believe I am doing this many shards right now because I actually had so many uh, hero cards for Punk and Duke and Cupid that they were easy to evolve. But man, dude, the resource requirement is crazy. Now we're going to evolve him. We're getting 109 books back, guys. We should be set for honor badges as well as XP. So if we can't get him up to a 9 star with the uh, HBM, because I got 7 refreshes for the HBM, we should for sure be able to get with the books. So BAM! He's already double evolved here. Look at these stats. So not anywhere close, obviously. Wow, I don't think that was right. Wait a second. Did I write the attack right? I don't think that looks right. I don't think he had 50,000. I'm going to have to go back in the, fo uh, the the footage and check that because that doesn't look right to me. I think I think I wrote that wrong. I think it's supposed to be like 5,000 because I think I might have hit a button. Hopefully, I'm not wrong there and uh, like completely off with what it is. We're going to claim these books real quick. I will do a post edit change if I wrote that terribly wrong on the attack. I do apologize. I don't think he had 1,000 attack. Oh my gosh, you know how much he would wreck? Oh my god, he would explode all over the place. So we're going to go ahead and level him up to get him back to a 9 star. So we're going to go ahead and start with some dungeons here, guys. We're going to go ahead and pump the dungeon in because it gives the lowest amount of XP and we want to use those ahead of time because we want to get the big XP drops when he's actually going to need it. So uh, I think we have, uh, we'll go ahead and use the dungeon refresh cards. We should have enough though, hopefully to get him to his first level cap. Oh man, I over leveled. I over leveled. No, no, we got to level him more. So we got him to six stars now. Still not close to his stats but look at that hp difference guys 102k at six stars he's already passed his 85,800 hp what is with this hp guys it is just crazy how much it increases for when you double evolve it's like these heroes are like we might not hit hard but we live long and prosper i don't know it was a terrible joke but I think that's really cool how much HP they seem to get. Oh my gosh. But we're going to... I think I think we might be out of dungeons. I do believe we might be out of dungeons. I will check real quick. 
Uh, we out of dungeons? No, we're not. Okay, so we have a few more. So hopefully we can get him to the next level cap. Ooh, unfortunately we're not going to be able to. So we're going to have to pop some HBMs here. So we got one right now, and then we got the seven cards. So we're going to pop, bam. How much XP? Ooh, pretty decent, pretty decent, plus the 3%. So that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we're going to use the monster passes. Come on, get him up. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just go ahead and pop these cards real quick. Make this a lot more efficient instead of having to sit here and keep uh, keep trying to add them. Um, I'm hoping we can get him to level cap though soon because he's getting awfully close. I think I actually might use books here, guys. That way I don't over uh, use the HBM and like waste XP. So we're gonna pump some books into him, nice and make him nice, big and strong. Why am I clicking the wrong one? Okay. Um, Okay, level limit reach with that. Awesome. Now we're going to upgrade. Bam. Let's see what his stats are now, guys. Ooh, he I think he just passed the attack. I think he did. Like I said, if I'm if I'm wrong about that uh number cuz I don't think that number looked right. <laughs> um I will make sure I'll make a post edit to the uh to the video. I do apologize if I I did a terrible goof by writing that wrong. But he's already passed it. And just look at that HP. 114,000 health. Plus, plus what he gets from uh, from uh, his uh, inscription. Which is just crazy health. He's just crazy. Like, I don't think he's the highest HP in the game. But that is just insane, guys. Like, he, he is legit a tank. He's going to be taking those blows and eating it like, uh, like, oh, you think you'll get through my HP pool? Not today, for I'm in a tired. Yes. All right, let's see how close we're getting him. I'm worried we might have to do a raid. <laughs> Every time I do these videos, guys, I swear I forget to raid ahead of time. I am the worst. I know. I will try to be better. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Come on. I think it's one. Isn't that 140? No, it's 140. Okay. Bam, 140. Come on. Let me get you up even more. Jeez, how many books is it going to take him to get a 9-star? Hopefully not all of them. There we go. Bam. Oh, we're out of honor badges. But that's okay, guys. We got the books. We got the books to sell. We got 72 books. So I'm going to sell... Let's get 100K. Let's get 100K honor badges right there. Dude, I just love how many honor badges the books give compared to XP. It's crazy. It's crazy. Honor badges is so much harder of a resource to get in the game. And it's just crazy how many you get for selling books. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I just want to look one more time at the stats. He got over 3,000 more just about of attack. He got, was he... 30, 30,000? No, a little more than that. Uh, six, 60,000 more HP? What is this? I really do wonder if with this double evolved Minotaur, if I can finally beat Insane Dungeon 2-1. Uh, because I've been stuck on the dungeon forever, guys. The reason why I haven't gone any further in, because I really want to beat this dungeon to unlock the Goblet of Life. And it's been driving me nuts. I've been stuck on it like forever. I really want the Goblet of Life for my uh, Skull Knight. Oh, it drives me nuts. Well, guys, uh, I will be producing another video uh, a little bit later today. So please stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this double evolution video for Minotaur. And I hope you guys will join me in the next villain. Remember, guys, to keep on chewing, and I'll keep on slaying. See all of you guys on the next video. Bye-bye!